All right, now, next next stage, finding the root. In order to uproot someone, you have to know what the root is. It's not the center of tension in a person's body. That's the center of mass, it's not the root. Uh, power is rooted in the feet. The root is in their connection to the ground. That's the feet. That's the able to find a person's foot. Um, a lot of systems will connect to a point of tension in a person's body, and they'll go, this is their center, that's their tension, and then they'll issue onto that. When a force travels from me to you, and I'm putting on your center of tension, it gives you lots of time to run away, and it gives you lots of time to remove a jelly body and wave that off. Hence the push hand scenario where people just, two guys are pushing and they can't bounce each other because they're hiding that, those points of tension in their jelly body. Uh, you can forget about that point of tension for the moment and just pick the feet up. Doesn't matter how jelly body they are, if you catch the feet, your mind is there, run the energy to there, they pop. So we want, to, we want to get this frequency. What is the root? How do we connect to the root? To, to find the root, you've got to do opposite to what people think. Um, people think, okay, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to pick his feet up. Well, you know, then we're, we're working at, uh, at influencing his mind, influencing his energy system, influencing his body mechanics. We just want to know the frequency. So I can borrow you from that. So what I want to do is first, I want to feel his feet. And when we touch our partner, there's a natural spring through the body. There's his foot. And then I feel his toes. I get my mind onto his toes. And okay, that's that's where his his, his body is um, controls balance. If you chop a toe off, you've got no balance until you re-educate yourself how to walk. So when we push, our push is in the toes. That's our balance point. That stabilizes the whole whole nervous system. So we've got to tickle our partner's toes. So we've got to get in here, feel the toes, and, and connect to them. Once we're there, if I can push myself off him, with a minimal amount of jump in my legs, with a maximum amount of jump in my hands, I'm on his roof. But if I try and push myself off him and he moves, that's a failure on my part, because he moved, I wasn't on his roof, I was up here. So I've got to touch his brain, stretch down to his hip, feel his toes, and then use my arms as much as I can and my legs as little as I can. The tendency will be to use your legs instead of your arms, to make your hands lighter so you don't fall over. Now, this is a 90-year-old granny. You should be able to run your whole body weight through to her feet, launch yourself off, and she goes, oh, I didn't feel anything. And then you reverse that polarity, and the person's going to fly, because you're on their route. So we've got to find that, that, that connection through this to the feet and, and get ourselves off the body. The further I can push myself off him, Without him moving, the better. So we want to have at least a three meter push. This does two things. It gives us awareness of, of his roots so that we can know that frequency, that feeling, and then, then disconnect it. It also allows us to give a perfect energy to our training partner to train. If you go to the gym and you lift a weight, gravity is perfect. It just goes one direction only. And it puts that into your body, and then you can you can stretch and move your body as you lift the weight. But a person, he's putting energy in all different directions. So if you want to develop one line of power, which is power is rooted in the feet, you've got to get your partner to put that into your root perfectly so you can release it. And we've been working on a lot of ways of doing it. So there's two things. One is your listening ability, and two is one is your feeding ability, how you put force into your partner. The quality of your training partner regulates your development. If you have a bad training partner, it's hard to get the progress. If you have a good training partner, they'll detect every point of tension in your body, they'll touch it, they'll go, oh, it's tension here, release that, tension there, release that, and they'll fix your frame. There's a lot of things we can't see in our own body, but our training partner can see. And our training partner has to be educated how to put the forces into the body perfectly uh, so that we can, we can train releasing them. Okay, so step one, feel the springs. Feel, the, feel the, the sponginess inside his body. Now, if I jump on a trampoline, if my timing as I jump is wrong, I'm not going to be able to jump very high. I've got to feel the springs in his body and jump off them with my hands. If I'm on a trampoline, I've got to feel the springs on a trampoline, time it. So I tune into this, I touch the springs in his body, I push off his springs. There's a, a little hop. But if I, if I time it wrong, then it's not there. But if I compress and 
and get it right, I can feel the compression and decompression off this body. Okay, partner up, have a pleasure.